everyone! Today we are going to answer backend questions which can be really, really useful in your future backend developer career. So, let's start from the question about... And before we will start, remember to subscribe our channel with the red button below this video and to turn on the notification so you know for sure about the next questions and to give us thumbs up and leave a comment. Let's talk about reverse proxy and how it works. But to start from the beginning, let me explain you what the normal proxy, called also the forwarded proxy, is. So, I have a visualization for you, so let's take a look on the image which will appear in front of me right now. In this image, you can see how the communication with the forward proxy looks like. The request is sent to the client and then the request takes over the proxy server, which communicates with the server to get the data and send them back. There are a few reasons why proxy can be used. First of all, it's used to avoid browsing restrictions. For example, sometimes school or different companies would like to provide people who use their network the limited access to the internet. And the proxy can be used to overcome it. The second idea why the forward proxy might be used is to stay anonymous in the internet. Because when we send requests through the proxy, the only visible IP in is the one that the proxy server has. Now, when you understand how the forward proxy works, let me explain you how the reverse proxy works. I have another graphic for you, so let's take a look at the visualization of the reverse proxy and I will describe you everything in the meantime. As you can see in the image, in case of the reverse proxy, the proxy server is between the network and the application origin server with data. When the client does a request, it sends to the network and then it's grabbed by the reverse proxy server. Then the request is sent to the origin server and the response is returned. The main advantages of using the reverse proxy server are preventing the attacks like DDoS because of attackers, won't be able to hit the origin servers for the application, just the proxy server. It also helps in caching content. It provides the SSL encryption. It can help to distribute the requests to the multiple origin servers. And it can also add basic HTTP access authentication to a web server that doesn't have one. If you would like to use the reverse proxy, you can use the ones existing in the internet like Cloudflare, for example. I hope you understand what is proxy and what is reverse proxy and thank you for watching. Bye!